So we're coming up um, close on this uh, summer solstice ritual. And uh, well, it's not really a ritual, I mean, but everyone knows that summer solstice is, of course, on the 21st of every year. However, um, they don't teach us a lot of times about the alignment that it makes with the uh, Sirius star constellation. And this is important when you get into um, understanding when people have age shifts. See, they can't read you on this like certain doctors and scientists and people that are kind of stuck in the mundane world. They think that they're this age based upon an annual, you know, alignment with the sun, you know, or the earth revolving around the sun and coming back to zero point and like what? 365 days, 365 days a year or whatever. So they mark themselves as this age based upon that. So like, you know, every year we say, well, it's my birthday. And, you know, you mark yourself as this age. And that's the beginning of understanding basics of astrology. But like when you get into studying like multiple suns and how when they make alignments with our constellation, you get into understanding that it's, a time where there's group or soul incarnation or group incarnations and then there's a time when individuals incarnate and uh, during this time or whatever when the serious sun constellation reaches or when our sun reaches its highest point which is summer solstice Sirius reaches its highest point which causes like a light cold transmission or a period of some people will call you can incarnate at that time and there's a lot of reincarnation that takes place of course in, in, in new births at that time but where i'm getting at is it's not it's not just in in new births or when a child comes through the womb that these um reincarnation or incarnation cycles can happen but they also can happen in you like you may say well i'm 25 years old watching this video or i'm 15 years old watching this video and if you're that young as, as far as like discretion is advised if you're not past the age of like 13 years old honestly you wouldn't really want to look into incarnating because it could be dangerous for you until you get to a certain age or whatever but once you get past the age of 13 years old there's a, a potential that and even going up into 80 and 90 or whatever you know different ages but there's a potential that different light cold transmissions could come through during certain times and you can actually have a shift in age and they've been studying this i mean you got to think about it if light travels at 186,000 miles per second in our time reference there's a way for us to actually <clears throat> pick up on light faster than we can get to certain places i mean you got to think that's you know like our circumference of this planet is about like 24,000 miles so like light traveling at that speed would mean that light can travel uh it can travel at, um, you know, like in a point millisecond around the Earth, essentially 186,000 miles per second. And I mean, the Earth is 24,000 miles and uh, in circumference. So the light can travel around the Earth like eight times or something like that within a cycle. So this goes into incarnating light cold transmissions, which needs to be studied because a lot of people that are experiencing shifts a lot of it is really locked into they like want to get crystals and herbs and stuff like that and that stuff can help you but when you start studying these light codes it's certain information that each individual is going to need readings are going to become really unique for each individual and doing a, a astrology reading on somebody is going to be like not as easy because based upon the fact that you're not in tune with these alignments you may lose track of how to become a good reader so a lot of the astrologers out there might uh not understand that it's not just your annual solar reading it's, our, our earth is going through a shift and i was telling the client this there's an electromagnetic war going on too with the electricity and stuff like that so there's a lot of shifts going on with people's sun sign and stuff like that too with this shift so um we're going to get ready and just drop information coming up with the summer solstice ritual periodically on this channel about different light code shifts and transmissions and when you sun gaze and different healing rituals that you can do 
to kind of understand and learn how to read yourself and reprogram yourself and figure out exactly where you're at at age. Like, maybe a lot older, you may be a lot younger, you may be in a different time reference picking up on information. You may be like, how am I young and I know all of this? Because you may be picking up on yourself and another time reference and there's a way to read that and figure that out. So what we'll do is, because I don't really have a lot of time, and hopefully you guys can just keep supporting like you did. You kept us up. Glad we was able to stay up. But what we're going to do is, um, I say stay up as far as like, you know, we were trying to raise money to keep our airwaves going, which we raised or whatever. But what we're going to do is continue to drop information, deep information on like coming up on this soul, summer solstice ritual on not only just information on how to get into one of these light cold frequencies, but how to heal yourself with certain herbs and crystals and which herbs and crystals would be good for you during this shift. So we'll be coming up with more information. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys have a good day.